when you imitate in a wrong way what happens you will get a life like that there's no doubt in that because if you imitate the great lives of arahants if you could become arahants one day in the same way if you imitate dogs you will become a dog learn the sutta if you don't trust me live like a divine being during this time period life can end at any time now we hear about halloween parties and all these things they are just imitating they are just pretending like ghosts and they try to scare others when you give fear to others what would you get in return you will get fear very few living beings became humans while majority has become animals demons you reap what you sow remember you reap what you sow namo buddhaya teruvan saranai dear children dear devotees are you interested in uh, learning about uh, stories of ghosts stories of ghosts well stories of ghosts are exciting and also fearful after you learn you might after you learn or after you watch uh, haunting movies and scary movies sometimes you find difficult to sleep even some children when they get scared when they watch they are so eager to watch uh, scary movies but after they watch they own lights and then they sleep and then in the middle of the night they scream they yell and sometimes they go to their parents room and sleep not even children even adults uh, do the same thing when they get scared they need someone to be with them to overcome their fear well what's there to get scared uh, for ghosts actually who are these ghosts are they real or is it just something that uh, we have heard or is it a just a myth or is it just limited for movies no ghost stories are not limited for movies ghost stories were well taught with great wisdom with great realization about ghosts of the blessed one the supreme buddha taught about ghosts very well it's not uh just uh ghosts uh who are existing forever it's not just uh ghosts become ghosts it's not just ghost happy as ghosts it's not just uh, ghosts are forever existing in this world so human beings are becoming ghosts human beings after they give up this body if they have lived in a way that they could become a ghost they will be born among ghosts so what's the nature of ghosts so what's the nature of these uh, non human beings the nature of these non human beings they are living with so much fear and then they are uh, very thirsty and they feel hungry so much and uh, they don't have anyone to help them so these ghosts they depend on the good things we do don't forget that these ghosts they don't have farming no crops no uh, they can't exchange things just like we do no uh, employment so from the stories of uh, ghosts from this uh, wonderful book from uh, petavattu from kuddaka nikaya uh today i'm going to teach you the first part the topic is like a field you know what's a field is it can be a paddy field okay so arahants are like fertile fields who arahants now we all know who arahants are right 
who are arahants. So arahants are, uh, are free from lust, anger and delusion, not like us. They are free from a defiled mind. Like their minds are not agitated like arahants are, arahants minds are uh, unshakable. You can't change their mood, very simple. Arahant's lives, like, like now our mood, anyone can change, right? But Arahant's, like you call it the mood, you can't change it because their mind is undefiled. Like it can't, their minds cannot be shaken by others. So that's a great life, right? So do you expect a life like that? Or you want to like suffer and feel sad and show your sadness to others? No. So, arahants are like fertile fields. They are free from last anger and delusion. In the same time, they are fertile fields. What's the nature of a fertile field? The nature of a fertile field is, when you put a seed, it will grow very well. It will give a good harvest. That field will uh, provide a good harvest. Uh, we will have a lot of fruits, and uh, the farmers will gain a lot of benefits out of it. So, givers are like the farmers, arahants are like fertile fields, and givers are like farmers. So, and what they offer is the seed. You know, what are we talking about? We talk about arahants. Arahants are like a field. Givers are like farmers. And when you give something to the great arahants, like you offer food, right? You offer water, you offer shelter, offer robes, then you offer medicine. So that's like planting a seed in a field. So who plant the seed? It's a farmer. When they scatter the seeds in a fertile crop, in a fertile field, what happens? The plants will grow very well and will have great fruits. Do you understand this simile? Okay, great. Then the combination of these three will produce a fruit of merit. Not just mangoes and rice and grains. This combination, when lay devotees get together with monks and when they go and offer something to the great Sangha, to great Arahants, the result is not mangoes or rice or bananas. The result is merit. Merit is something that cannot be stolen by others. Merit is something that will be with us like a friend. Right? Merit is something that will be like a shadow with you. That shadow will never leave you. So don't you like to accumulate something like a shadow? All the other things will not be like a shadow, right? So merit is something like a shadow. And uh, the seed, the planting of the seed and the field are help, helpful to the givers. And they are departed relatives so these ghosts they can these departed relatives that means the ones who die while we are alive people die right sometimes now during this pandemic a lot of people died some children lost their parents some parents lost their children parents lost their parents like small children lost their grandparents so after they that after they die after they die their birth can happen at happen in any place. It could be among the rivers, it could be among brahmas, it could be among animals, it could be among ghosts, right? It could be among uh, among the beings who are born in the hell, right? There's a variation. We see various kinds of living beings. So when we do good things, when you offer something to the Sangha, the farmers, like the devotees who are like farmers, they are also benefited. And the people who have passed away, those ghosts or whoever it is, will be also benefited. When you give something to the sun, to the great Arahants. Now we hear about Halloween parties and all these things. They are just imitating 
they are just pretending like ghosts and they try to scare others what would the relatives of them who have passed away will think those ghosts will they get anything by just having halloween parties you know when you imitate like ghosts what happens that will lead you to a bad karma and in next life when you are born when you imitate in a wrong way what happens you will get a life like that there's no doubt in that trust me i'll tell you one day um, you know have you heard of a disciple called kujutara kujutara is a hunchback and she was born in a, a very low caste family she was she had to work as a slave as a servant you know why she was hunchback one day she saw pachaka buddha and she imitated and that pachaka buddha was hunchback she imitated that pachaka buddha took a walking stick and showed how that pachaka buddha walk and then she was hunchback for 500 lives that is imitating a virtuous person some people you know they imitate like uh, they see uh, people who are deformed after seeing people who are deformed the people who are not be deformed they imitate those deformed people what happen the people who are imitating and like uh, living and uh, pretending and then like uh, decorating and then dressing and then who are imitating and showing how others look like from various clothes and with their behavior they will also get a life like that because if you imitate the great lives of arahants if you could become arahants one day in the same way if you imitate dogs you will become a dog that's a beautiful sutta learn the sutta if you don't trust me kukkurvati sutta kukkurvati sutta one day one person came to the buddha that person pretended like a dog acted and behaved like a dog so he was thinking if i give pain to my my life and if i act like a dog i would attain nibbana and the other person pretended like a cow so they they both they both went to the buddha and asked panthe we are we have been doing this ascetic practice this practice for a long time and like they were talking about each other and they were telling the ideas and one person asked panthe blessed one this person has been practicing this for a long time will he attain nibbana then buddha said let's keep aside this topic let's talk something else then again he asked then second time buddha said no we'll talk something else but for the third time he asked then the blessed one said since you are asking me now i'll tell you the one who pretended and the one who imitated like a dog will become a dog the one who imitated like a cow will become a cow this life is so precious to become a human being just 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 think from like if you believe in science if you believe in normal calculation just think the number of human beings who are living in the human world and compare the number of human beings to the animals human beings very few living beings became humans while majority has become animals demons why they behaved in past lives like animals and demons and ghosts we were born as human beings due to a past to a great huge merit done by us for sure not by imitating ghosts and animals not like living and not like having qualities of animals and ghosts for sure having divinely qualities and human qualities what are human qualities what are human qualities abstaining from killing living beings abstaining from stealing abstaining from sexual misconduct abstaining from telling lies abstaining from taking alcohol intoxicating drinks and drugs abstaining from gossip abstaining from idle chatter abstaining from harsh speech 
abstaining from a wrong livelihood, abstaining from wrong views, abstaining from having wrong views. And then, uh, and also abstaining from being jealous, abstaining from being greedy, abstaining from uh, being selfish, abstaining from being lazy. So human beings should uh, abstain from these evil things and concentrate and focus on wholesome. No matter what, like you might like to drink and dance and to enjoy, but this drinking and dancing, criticizing others and uh, making fun out of others, using this valuable human life just to pretend as a ghost, just to imitate a ghost and just to like show you are uh, paralyzed, like some they uh, rap, like some they pretend like they are, they have made an accident and their bodies like they, they uh, wrap their whole body with uh, what with bandages and with plasters and pretend and go to Halloween parties. They will one day. What will happen? Unnecessarily, they will have to. Really, in real life, they will have to wrap their body with a bandage like that and suffer a lot. You reap what you sow. Remember. You reap what you sow. So when you can reap good things, when you can, uh, uh, it's like, think of a name tree. If you plant a name tree, the branches, leaves, everything is bitter. But if you plant a sugar cane tree, it's very sweet. So don't you like to reap something sweet to your life? Don't you like to reap something sweet and pleasurable and comfortable for your life? So help others, have compassionate towards others. Don't try to frighten others. And then in Halloween parties, you are giving fear to others. You are threatening others. When you give fear to others, what would you get? In return, you will get fear. Therefore, you are showing a wrong example to the world. Even the future, even the young children, maybe in another 10 years who, the, who see these things, they will also waste their life like this. Why not just dedicate this year to give up Halloween parties, live like Arahans, show to the world, tell the world that we are no more ghosts. We don't want to imitate like ghosts. Even like when there's still time remaining for us to behave like human beings, why should we behave like ghosts? Why should we uh, behave like demons? Why should we pretend like ghosts and demons and like people who are wounded? Let's not give fear to others. Let's give no fear to others. Let's, even with, even it is difficult, in a society like this, when like the whole society is like going in a wrong side, let's at least one person join with this amazing, great teachings of the Supreme Buddha and swim up currents and once and for all overcome these problems and not to have thoughts like this, gaining fun out of these insignificant things, but enjoying great bliss enjoying uh, great happiness by giving, by sharing and by supporting the poor and by caring the poor and by caring your parents and by, by, by caring your loved ones and by giving no fear and by living like a divine being, not like a ghost. Live like a divine being during this time period. Life can end at any time. Therefore, be heedful. Be great farmers. When the noble sang is present in this world. Don't neglect them. Don't lose the association of the great sangha. Of a dana to the maha sangha. It's like growing a great seed in a great crop that will give great fruits to your life. That is a great merit. So 
in that way even if you in that way the departed relatives will also be benefited during this time period when people are celebrating halloween parties if you can give dana to the mahasangha and tell this is how you spend a season like this and how you could really look after the departed relatives and look after yourself and be an example a good example to the world and enjoy a happiness that is lasting that you would never regret and have a happy life namo buddhaya teruvan sarame